In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can play GarageBand's hundreds of included MIDI software instrument sounds. For the first way, you don't even need any external keyboards, controllers or music making gear. You just need one of these. GarageBand has a brilliant built-in feature called musical typing that allows you to play notes in a MIDI track using your typing keyboard. Setting it up is really easy. Select the MIDI track whose sounds you want to play. Click on Window in GarageBand's toolbar and then select Musical Typing. The Musical Typing window will open and you can now play notes using your typing keyboard. Certain letter keys on your typing keyboard correspond with notes in the musical typing interface and you can even adjust things like velocity and pitch using your keyboard too. The second way you can play software instrument sounds in GarageBand is using a MIDI keyboard or controller. I have this Arturia model here and using it with GarageBand is as simple as connecting it to my Mac, selecting the track I want to use and beginning to play. If you have a MacBook Air or other Mac model that only has USB-C ports, a simple adapter like this will cost you practically pennies and will absolutely do the job. Controllers like this Roly Seaboard block can connect via Bluetooth, allowing you to play GarageBand's instruments wirelessly. Note that most of the Bluetooth controllers and keyboards that I've come across do require some form of additional programs or apps to work, so while it's not quite as straightforward a process as just plugging in a wired keyboard, it does give you one less cable to worry about. The third way you can play GarageBand software instruments requires one of these or one of these. Logic Remote is a completely free app from the iOS App Store that allows you to remotely control Logic Pro, Mainstage and GarageBand from your iPad or iPhone. It's really simple to set up too, just download the app, make sure GarageBand is open on your Mac and that both your iOS device and Mac are on the same Wi-Fi network. When you open the app on your iPhone or iPad, you'll be able to select your Mac from the list that pops up, confirm on your Mac that you're happy for it to connect, and you'll be good to go. With your software instrument track selected, tap on this menu inside the Logic Remote app, and you'll be able to select from an on-screen keyboard, or chord strips to play your selected instrument sounds. Let me know if you've used any of these three methods to play GarageBand's software instrument tracks down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on your way past if you found this video helpful. If you prefer to draw in MIDI notes rather than play them, but aren't sure how that works in GarageBand for Mac, watch this next. 